Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 40 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There we have two over resistors and uh, made the uh, cube resistors. So we need to determine equivalent resistance at different points, right? So first of all, we can see we need to determine the uh, equivalent resistance between the A and the B. So that means the position A connected with I and connected with the battery and come back. So how can we do that? We can see if we consider parallel connection, service connection, so difficult, right? Uh, we will get conf confused by ourselves. And the easy way is consider the Cherhoff loop rule. As we can see, if the equivalent resistance can equal to the EMF of the battery, the voltage of the battery, divided by current in the main branches, agree? So it looks like we just need to know the current at getting in at a point, then we can solve it. And then we can use some symmetry, equi symmetry uh, series to get the current in each branch is labeled as the picture says. So we can say first of all we look at the position A. For position A you can see the current get in is I. The current get out is I1, I1 plus I2. So write it there. And then we look at the position F. The current get in is I1, get out is S3 plus I4, right? We write it there. And the next one, we look at the position D, and we can see the current get in is I5, and the current get out is at I4 plus I4, so write it there. Now we do the Cherhoff's loop rule. First loop is from the battery to the resistor I, and it then goes back. So the voltage increases go to the battery and decreases the current goes to resistor. So minus I to R equal to zero there. Then we can draw the second Cherhoff's loop as a surface, as a top surface. So the current goes through the A to F and then do a loop this way. So we can say the voltage decreases as I1 R, so minus I1 times R, minus I3 times R, minus I1 times R, and then plus I2 times R, because the direction I2, I2 and the loop is opposite direction, so this is plus. The next one, we can draw another uh, Cherhoff's loop at the bottom surface, this way, right? So minus I4R, minus I5R, minus I4R, plus I3R. This is a current direction, and it's a loop direction opposite, so this is a plus sign. And then we can solve the current by these six equations. The answer is there. And then we input the current inside, we get the answer there. The second part, we need to get equivalent resistance for point A and C. So for point A and C, we can see, let me change the color. So from this uh, A, we connect it with the battery, and then look at the C, right? Looks like this way. And similarly, we still need to find the current for the main bond is I. So how can we do that? We can see, first thing we look at the position A. So the current get in is I, get out is I1, I1 plus I2, right? And then we look at the position I2, we can see at the position F. So I2 equal to I3 plus I3, so current get in equal to current get out. I3, I3 plus I3 equal to I5, I2. And then we can do the Cherhoff's loop. First the loop is in the, with the batteries. So the battery make voltage increase epsilon and then minus I1 times R minus I1 times R. Current goes through resistor, voltage decreases. So right it is there, right? The next one, we can do a Cherhoff's loop on the top surface. You can see minus I2R minus I3R and the plus. I one R. This branch is the current equal to zero, equal to zero, right? So now we can see this way, and then we can see the current I one and the loop in opposite direction. So this is plus psi. The next one we can draw a loop at the bottom surface there. So this way, right? Oh, we draw it this way.
and we can see minus two times i two minus two times i two, and the minus two times i three r minus two times i three r equal to two times i one times r. So this loop, let me draw it in another color this way. So this loop is from there to there to there to there, and then get back. Just the top surface and the right surface, right? So this is a two times two times i two r, two times i three r, and two times i one r there, right? And then this uh, i one r is just as a positive sign, so we write it there. We solve this uh, uh, equations. We get the current as two epsilon divided by r, and then we can get the equivalent resistance is epsilon divided by r r over two, right? The next one, we need to find the, we need to find the current from the position A to position D, right? So this is connected with a battery. And by the symmetry equations, it will become much more easy. You can see at the position A, the current getting in is I, current get out is I1, 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 this one, right? So I equal to three times I1. Then look at the position F. So the I1 equal to I2 plus I2, so I1 equal to 2 times I2. Now we draw a loop. So the loop, you can see from the battery, the voltage increases minus I1 R, minus I2 R, minus I1 R, then get back there, right? Then we can solve these three equations, get the current as 6 epsilon divided by 5 R, and then input this current inside, we get a current resistance 5R over 6. Thank you.